WND Sports and Flat State Megabucks present Candlepin Skins. It's bowling with a whole new twist as New England's best bowlers battle for cash prizes in every box. Candlepin Skins is produced in conjunction with the New Hampshire Candlepin Bowling Association. And now your hosts, Doug Brown and Dan Murphy. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Legendary Bowling Center for another edition of Candlepin Skins here on the Winds of New England. Doug Brown along with Dan Murphy. And uh, no question, the story of the last few weeks has been Tim Lipke. He has just uh, really hardly been challenged. That's right, not only on the, on the total pinfall, but also in the skins. He's picking himself up uh, quite a few bucks and uh, bowling quite well. Joining uh, Tim, carrying over from last week, is Mark Belmare of Manchester, New Hampshire. And they will be joined by Mike Sargent of Bradford, Massachusetts, and Bill Coffold from Milford, New Hampshire. The four of them will compete here on Candlepin Skins, and here's how it all works. The four bowlers will compete individually. They'll roll one box at a time, and each box is a separate contest in and of itself, of course, because there's a dollar value assigned to each box. The high score in each box wins that dollar value or the skin. Now, if two or more bowlers tie for the high score, then the money carries over to the following box, and then, of course, it builds up, and that creates even more excitement and larger jackpots. We had a $150 skin last week, in fact. The top two bowlers in total pinfall, two games, Get to return the following week and continue the streak and win more money. And here's how the money adds up. First three boxes each game worth $10. Next three are worth $15 each. Boxes 7, 8, 9 worth $25 each. And the tenth box in each game worth $50. So you can see how the money adds up. We have a lot of fun here on Candlepin Skins. We're glad you're with us, and we'll be right back to get the match started after these messages. Welcome back. Candlepin Skins. We begin another match and Bill Coffold will start it. And start it, start it he does. Everything but the four pin. Mike Sargent. Oh, he's gonna touch them all. <laughs> Bill takes his spare. We're off and running. Here's Mike Sargent's first ball of the day. The veterans can still get it done, can't they, Dan Murphy? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably taking lessons from his son. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Mike's, uh, Mike's son, Chris, in the middle of a heck of a roll over on Stars and Strikes. And you'll get a chance tomorrow to see if he will win three in a row and get into the Tournament of Champions as uh, Mike's son, Chris, will face Bruno DeFeo for the series championship tomorrow at noon here on the Winds of New England. Well, the strike is good for the first skin of the day for Mike Sargent. Mark Belmare settles for an eight. Tim Lipke takes 10. Wow, Tim Lipke's behind. <laughs> <laughs> and he hasn't won a skin yet. That's the news right now. <laughs> He's been just unstoppable. This is his fourth straight week. Mike Sargent on the strike. Light hit by Billy Coffold, but gets the job done. Just the three and 10 left. Mike can't convert. Chance for Bill, though, to make it two in a row. Let's see. Nope. 10 for Mike. And Bill takes nine. This is another $10 skin here in box number two. And here's our big winner from the last several weeks, Tim Lipke. He's averaged well over 130 in the last three weeks. Timmy's going to be shooting at the two and eight pins, and he's going to get some help by one piece of wood to the left and another one rolling in between. 
see. Yes. Spare in the second. And that will take the skin in the second also. Worth $10. Mark will have to settle for an eight, a pair of eights. Even though we don't know who our competitors will be that will be joining us next week, the two guys who finished one and two in total pinfall here today will be back next week to face two more challengers. Hello, look wow. at that. Oh my. The five, seven, eight, and uh, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like they're all on the same plane, though, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. The way they've moved around. So Mike and Bill will be open again. Bill with a 10 and Mike with an 8. And they're both tied at 37 after 3. Not a lot of conversation down below yet. No. Well, Mark Belmere has a good shot at his first mark. And maybe a skin, too. Oh, Tim will have something to say about that. Two nine drops. Spare it up for Mark. Of course, Tim's nine drop came on a spare. And he's got another one. That will carry it over also. Didn't take long for Tim to get the lead back. <laughs> this will be a $25 skin now in the fourth on the carryover. Mike Sargent. Oh, he's in the pocket. Look out, he's got them all again. Two strikes for Mike Sargent already. And two pins for Bill Koffel. Look out! Oh. Good, good try by Billy Coffold. It'll be an eight. I'll give him 45. You see Mike Sargent throwing that strike. The one three pocket, five and eight. Goes the five and then the eight. Tim Lipke lurking on a spare. Strike carries it over. Doesn't get the touch. Does get an eight fill though. So that'll be a skin for $25 for Mike Sargent. Three in a row now for Tim Lipke. Oh, oh. tough break. Mark on the 2-4. And it's a nine box. $15 skin now here in the fifth. Mike can convert this. No, he missed the head pin. Eight fell on the strike. Bill takes seven. Mike will have nine. There you see the scores. 52 for Bill Coffold, 64 for Mike Sargent, 43. Mark. Almost for Tim Lipke, but he'll have a spare chance. Chance for the skin and four in a row for Tim Lipke. He takes the $15 skin in the fifth. We will take a break as Mark Belmare 
takes a 10. Tim Lipke in the lead. What else is new here on Candlepin Skins? We'll be back. Mike Sargent has thrown two strikes already in this match. No spares yet, though. This is going to be a difficult one for Mike, too. The 5 6 10. Here's Bill Coffold, and how about a difficult shot that is? He's throwing some pretty good balls. He gets a 5 7 10, though, Wood. Oh, nice shot by Mike. Now, people will really cheer if Bill makes this one. That'd bring the house down. This one or this three? <laughs> <laughs> he made one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty well. It'll work out with a nine, but yep. not much to show for after that good first ball. And here's the spare by Mike playing the ball off the wood into the five, and the wood takes the six ten. Well, Tim Lipke has four marks in a row, all spares. This is a $15 skin here in the sixth. Spare already up for Mike. And this time, just a four fill for Tim. Half Worcester for Mark on the left. Tim Lipke only four on the spear, trying to half the skin. Oh, oh. <laughs> he scared it. Now well, Mike Sargent will take the skin for $15. Ten for Tim. 90 through six. And Mark Belmare gets out of it with an eight. Mark and Bill Coffold are tied for third right now. It's 61, Tim Lipke in the lead, and Mike Sargent second. Well, look at this one. It's a little better. He put a ball in there last time and left a 5 7 10. This time, he leaves just a two pin, two pieces of wood, one on either side. Of course, you've got to be careful not to cap either one of them. He's got okay. it for the spare. Meanwhile, Mike Sargent had just a four fill on his spare. The seventh box worth $25. Nine for Mike. Well, Billy Coffold didn't lead for this skin with that spare. So a strike by Mark or Tim will take it. Oh, there yeah. it is. Tim's chance to have it with another strike. Nope, off target. So it'll be Mark Belmare for the $25 skin. His first. So far, only Bill Coffold has been shut out of the money winning. Oh, great shot. Tim Lipke with another spare. He's got five already. Here's the strike for Mark Belmare on lane 30. About as good a spot as you'd want to throw it. Absolutely. And Mike was hoping for more on that ball right in the pocket. Billy Coffold on the spare. A little full, just five. Oh, he makes it. He makes that shot. You can see Bill Coffold admiring the shot as well before he fires. I'm impressed. What a shot. Eight for Bill Coffold. Mike Sargent can still get it done, watch. He certainly can. Look at that, just plays the triangle. Five, eight, and nine, and jumps the five all the way over into the seven. <laughs> this is a $25 skin, and Mike Sargent has the edge right now. Tim working on a spear. Just off target. He'll take seven. Mark. Ooh, this is on a strike for Mark Belmer. Did Tim have the skin? No. Oh. Nice try, Tim. And 
neither can Mark, so that skin will go for $25 to Mike Sargent. And tens for both. Mark and Tim. Tim Lipke still in the lead at 117. The other three, very, very close though. Bill Coffold. Ninth box worth $25. Looking oh. for the mix and doesn't get it. Oh no. And, and of all pins to fall down, that two pin really made the spare shot much more difficult. Just a five fill for Mike Sargent on the spare. Bill covers his 10. And Mike covers his. Some 112, 94 for Bill Caulfield. There you see 88 with a box to come, and Tim Lucky still out in, the, out in front at 117. Oh, Mark Belmare almost had himself another strike. He had thrown one the last time he was on lane 30. Tim Lipke. Wow. Boy, that was a pretty good looking ball to have that as the result. And uh, Mark's going to have to wait until that piece of wood is checked. It appears as though it's out of play, but I don't think it's going to be a factor either way. As he'll be able to shoot at the five pin. Something we don't often talk about, Dan, but it's very interesting to watch these guys go through warm-ups before we begin the program. Most bowlers uh, that we see don't like to have their last warm-up box be a good box. That's right. They like to leave it on a bad box. <laughs> Are you the same way? Oh, yes. In fact, uh, I never keep score when I'm warming up anymore. I'm afraid that <laughs> I throw a good game and it'll be the last one I have of the day. <laughs> A nine for Tim Lipke and the $25 skin goes to Mark Belmare on the spare in the ninth. Well, we're a rare breed, this Candlepin Bowling Group, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, look out! Mike yeah, Sargent another has another one. one! Three strikes for Mike Sargent in this game. Coffold would love the spare, not quite. Instead, it's a nine box. Mike Sargent will stay up there to fill the strike. And here's another look at it. All the strikes seem to be on lane 30 today. Have you noticed that? Yes. This is the little extra kick on the eight pin. Now we love Phil. Double. Oh! Oh. oh, yeah. Well, we've talked about this before. Of all the boxes to get a double strike, the 10th is probably not the favorite because it doesn't count as much, but it still look pretty good. 132 plus a ball, and he's got four strikes already. Six it'll be for 138 for Mike Sargent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Means Tim Lipke needs a mark to catch Mike Sargent now for the overall lead. By the way, only the first strike counts for the skin. That's right. <laughs> in third position after game one as he takes a nine. Tim Lipke now will tee up his fill on the strike and we have another look. This is the have the skin carried over to next game. Big strike. 136 plus two balls. Oh, 
Did he do it? <laughs> Almost did the same thing. <laughs> he wanted it too. <laughs> he really did. But Tim will have the lead after game one. He'll go spare on strike in the tenth for a 146. So Tim Lipke keeps it rolling here on Candlepin Skins. One game to go, and we'll have a carryover skin to start game two when we come back. Mike Sargent has won $75 so far, five skins, 50 for Mark Belmare, 25 for Tim Lipke. As we go to game two, this first box is a carryover worth $60. Bill Koffel will have a shot at a spare. Yeah, the 247, a nice piece of wood to the, just to the right, which I definitely would use. <laughs> and so will Bill <laughs> for the spare. The $60 at stake, why not? Well, Mike Sargent in that first game had three strikes and three spares. That one he pulled a little bit. Just off target to the left a little bit. Leaves himself the one, the eight, and the ten. And a piece of wood in between the one and the ten. Mike Sargent works for Ogden Martin. He and his wife Marianne have three children. Oh, Kimberly, Chris, and Mike Jr. Mike Sargent's high single is 228. You won't see many higher than that. No. For instance, Dan Murphy's is only one, what was it, 197? Uh, 197. Uh, 198. 198. Found another pin, did you? Oh, strike. Mark Belmare kind of collapsed a strike there. And we'll have another look. Didn't look like a strike ball at first. No, it didn't. A little, little light here, and things continue to happen and end up being the strike, which he'll take, and the possible skin, unless Tim can throw a strike. He's off to the right, but it doesn't work for Tim, and that's a $60 skin for Mark Belmare. And it's a 10 for Tim. Nice. Might mention back in the first game, somebody might have caught it, that we did give right. Mark credit for the skin in the ninth frame. Just wasn't posted on the screen, but Mark did get credit for the ninth box skin in the first game. Oh, one time, no. Okafold well, almost making it happen. It's five fill on the spare he had in the first, and he'll make it a 10. Mike threw three of his four strikes on this lane, and there's another one. Oh. I think he likes it there. Make his living on lane 30. Is that all you can do? <laughs> <laughs> it's a $10 skin here in the second. Mark Belmare looking for a double strike. And he leaves himself the 5 6 10. Don't know. That wood behind the 5 pin really hurts the angle of the front piece of wood. Let's see what he decides to do. He's going to try it. Oh, he threw it in wow. front of the 610. Never touched either one of them. Strange. And it's going to stay that way in eight. Let's see what happened here. Wow. <laughs> well, Tim Lipke comes up. He'll need to uh, throw a strike to carry the skin over with Mike Sargent. He's already taken one away from Mike with a strike. Oh, 
not this time. Tim's now in his fourth consecutive week here on Skins, and we mentioned he's just been dominating in the first uh, seven games he's thrown down. He's averaged 136. Not bad. No, not too shabby at all. And he opened today with a 146. Nine there, though. And uh, Mike Sargent's going to make another run at him. Uh, he was only eight pins behind after game one, and Mike's got the strike up in the second. Mike also got that skin, of course, in the second. Worth $10. Bill Coffold still has been shut out on the skin's tote board. He'll have a shot at something here, though. Ooh, almost a strike from the back door. Leaves himself to three, and a piece of wood resting against it. There it is. Spare in the third for Bill Coffold. Come on, Mike. We haven't seen a double in a long time, huh? <laughs> now, see, Mike's not on his strike lane now. Full that time. Come on, Wood. It's interesting because the ball he threw last time on lane 30 for a strike also looked a little bit full, but he carried it. Six, seven, ten. No wood. <laughs> Tried to come off the wall with a six, ten. Well, it's a long way to travel for the seven, though. Nine. Not used to getting that extra. <laughs> Mark Belmare. Well, possibilities at the 247. Mark and Bill Coffold are going to have to make a move if they want to try and come back next week. Right now, Tim Lipke and Mike Sargent seem to have the edge. Ten for Mark. The spare by Bill Coffold is still good as Tim Lipke comes up. <clears throat> and Bill has been shut out thus far in the skin, so. Well, Tim will have a shot at this. The one, two, four, and nine. Yeah, I got a funny feeling we're gonna have this skin and carry it over to the fourth frame. No, he's missing the head pin. Oh. Call me a liar, Tim. <laughs> so that's $10 for Bill Coffold, his first skin of the day. And it's a 10 for Tim Lipke, who's looking for his first mark still. In fact, he and Mike Sargent are dead even now, with seven boxes to go. See, they've got a... <laughs> a 24-pin advantage on Mark Belmare. Oh, Bill Coffold just three on the spare. He just he dropped that ball a little soon, and what it did is it took a little bit off it, and it didn't quite break enough back into the head pin. And the result is missing the head pin to the right in just three pins. A three, five, and eight out of there. He really could have used a big fill and another mark right there to climb back in for total pinfall. Oh, and it's just a five. Come on, Mike. Hey, Mike, here's your rally, Alley 30. Come on. <laughs> Magic lane 30 <laughs> for Mike Sargent. Come on, That was a pretty good ball. It could have been another strike. But the two, four, five, triangle. No wood. Mike's been at this a long time, but he enjoys the game, doesn't he? He really does. He's a funny guy, too. Nine box for Mike. <laughs> Mark Belmare. Look out! Just missed not knocking the seven pin down as well. Five and eight were out there. Boy, this... This would be a boost. Hang on. Nope. Oh. 
Mark's had trouble with singles the last couple of weeks. Ten. Well, no marks up, and here's Tim Lipke. <laughs> it's Tim time. <laughs> the last several weeks, uh, he's been in the spot a number of times, needing maybe a ten box or just a spare to win the skin outright. But he's going to have to earn this one. Well, Tim has had the advantage. He had the high, high score in the roll-off, 700, so he's had this anchor spot for all four shows, and he's really been taking advantage of it. You notice he just glanced. He wanted to make sure he knew what it was for the carryover, <laughs> and it's a 10. <laughs> and this is going to be a difficult 5-10 for the half on the skin. Got it. Nope. That'll be a $15 skin from Mark Belmare, and Mark is piling up some money here, even though he's not gaining any ground. He's got $125 in skins money already. Box number five, worth $15. Bill Koffold, light. Two, four, five, seven, nine, ten. Easier to count the ones that are down. Oh, he's got a shot, and what a spare. Third time in a row that Bill has marked over on lane 30. Here it is again. He really deserves to win a skin, too. <laughs> I'm rooting against Mark, Mark and Tim. <laughs> I won't tell him. It's been shut out so far, too. He deserves this one. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he's too much of a competitor to just give it away, don't you? You're Very right. shot. <laughs> <laughs> He said, you animal. <laughs> Mark Belmare now. No, Mark's going to have the high-low jack. For the spare? No. We're in the carryover situation with two spares, but uh, the Tim man's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Needing a strike. He's got one strike today. One strike and six spares, but he doesn't have any marks here in the second That's game. right. That's scary. He's only had one mark all day, uh, one strike all day, and he hasn't had a mark the second game. Well, Didn't not the one much. he wanted to fall. <laughs> so we'll carry over. And more important, uh, I'd like to give this a shot with a wood in between. Why not? He's, he's not going to make it the other way. He's <laughs> not uh, in the lead. Or he won't be when Mike fills the spare. So that's a 10 for Tim Lipke as he pins away on the four and the six. Five boxes to go and uh, lots still to be decided here on Candlepin Skins. We'll be back. Oh, Bill Koffold is now going to try and uh, make that impressive spare he made a moment ago pay up. Yeah, he really's got to get in gear right now. Oh, off the head pin, but decent break. The one and the eight left. Eight pins on the spare. Now let's see if that wood rolls off. At that point, I believe it's out of play anyways. But will it but, roll back? Yeah, it could. It's on its way. Nope. Staying there. That looks like it'll be out. Certainly won't affect the shot anyway. Bill Koffold from Milford, New Hampshire. Lives there with his wife, Sheila, and Bill is the general manager of the Friendlies at the Nashua Mall. Billy Koffold trying to make it two in a row. Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. Great shot after the wait. Two in a row for Bill. Don't count him out. He's a competitor. He'll keep coming at you. Climbs to within 20. Now Mike Sargent, Mike Sargent made a great spare a few minutes ago, too. He gets seven, and he'll have to show us a shot. Three, four, six. This skin, by the way, a carryover worth $30. All right, grab two. 
eight for Mike. Well, that'll give Tim Lipke a chance to uh, get back even. Big, solid first ball for Mark Belmare, and he leaves the five pin. Well, this is what he's been having trouble with. It's another w situation you got to play games with yourself. Say, I've missed a few. I'm doing to hit one. Mm -hmm. But if you tell yourself, oh, boy, another single. I've missed a few already. You probably will miss the next one. Well, it's still a uh, situation where Bill and Mark are playing catch-up as Mike and Tim are... Running one, two, jockeying back and forth. The spare by Bill Coffold is good here in the sixth right now. Tim Lipke up, and Tim will have a shot here, perhaps. Or will Billy Coffold get his first skin of the day? A second skin, I'm sorry, he got one earlier, back in box number three. He, Timmy's going to, I believe he's going to play this wood out just to the right. No, he's going to no, yeah. two of them, huh? What do I know, Tim? <laughs> First mark of the game for Tim Lipke. It's a big one. Would have went my way, too. <laughs> <laughs> Two, four, and ten. Carry over again. The sixth box is now, or rather the seventh box is now worth $55. Oh. No break there on the four pin. Billy gets a seven drop on the spare, but the four, six, and ten. And he's going to have to find a way to snap that wood in front of the four pin off the wall, take the four and go over and into the sixth tap. No, just behind it. Bill will take his 10. Mike Sargent now. He and Tim Lipke running just about dead even for the pinfall lead. Will he get one more? No. <laughs> Don't forget tomorrow, our series championship match on Candlepin Stars and Strikes at 12 noon. Bruno DeFeo against Mike's son, Chris Sargent. As Chris goes for three in a row. He's been on a roll of his own, like father, like son here. <laughs> 10 for Mike. 219 leads Billy Caulfield by 18. Yeah, it did. It came right out. Didn't... 28, I should say. <laughs> Billy liked 18 better, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so for the second week in a row, the top two bowlers are kind of outdistancing the field with a few frames remaining. A lot of skins money out there, though. Well, there's uh, $55 available in this box, and Tim Lipke can take it with a mark. Just the two tens are up there right now. Plus, Tim is working on a spare, trying to retake the lead from Mike Sargent. Pulled it. Just three. Now, now he's going to be thinking that, well, it's already two tens up there, so he can go for this one if he wants. He knows if he doesn't make the spare, it's a carry over anyways. So he's not going to regain the lead. Nine. It'll be uh, Mike Sargent. By three overall. Where's the headband? Box number eight will be worth $80. Almost. Bill and Mark need spares and strikes. Or both. But it's a nine for Bill. 
Mike, right here. Come on, Michael, you do. Come on. Hammer time. Mike Sargent, eight marks on the day. Uh, rip the rack. Come on, the walk. Take a friend. Hang around, Wood. 7-10, but looks like he puts the ball in the V where those two pins meet. He's got a chance of making this. Oh, it's too far right. Oh, the ball almost dug it. <laughs> 10, which is good right now. You want to tell them? Oh, no. I only Mark's going to shoot at the 3, 5, 6, and 10. No wood. It would really look, put a lot of pressure on Tim Lipke if he was able to spare this. And yeah. that's a big mark. Take the lead on the skin. $80 on the line here in the eighth. And that may win it unless Tim Lipke can do something. So strike will win it outright. Spare will carry over yet again in the eighth box. Oh, Tim Ooh. has done it with the strike. Looked like the nine pin was going to stand right back up again. $80 skin, advantage Tim Lipke. Watch the, the, watch the nine pin in the back. Half over and it stands right back up for a second. Right there. Oh. <laughs> But it goes out for $80. And Bill Coffold has a mark in the ninth. Can't seem to make those marks stand up for the skin, though. Mike Sargent. To the left, wow. Look at the action he gets. <laughs> the two, or rather the three, six, and nine. No wood. Oh, he's got it. What a delicate shot. That is a very difficult shot. Well, it's going to take a strike in the ninth to win the skin outright. Nice shot, guy. $25 skin it is here. Mark Belmare working on a spare. He'll take seven. but only for a 10. Now let's see if Tim will steal another one. <laughs> Same situation as last time. Needs a strike to take it outright. And it's already in the carryover mode without a strike. Carryover it will be. Remember, this is on a strike, though, for Tim. He and Mike Sargent both appear to be in pretty good shape. To come back next week. In spite of that miss. <laughs> it'll stay as a nine, so it'll be a carryover, and the last skin of the day will be worth $75. Bill Koffel will take first try at it. He's working on a spare. He needed strikes to have any hope at total pinfall. Just a thin hit and three on the spare. Oh boy. Well, barring a miracle by Mark Belmare in the 10th. And a one box for uh, Tim Lipke. It's going to be uh, Tim and Mike coming back next week. But there's still a little business. The $75 skin still up for grabs. Yeah, and I think maybe a little bit of, a, little bit of a competition going on between Mike and Tim for the overall lead here, too. 
They're both very, very good competitors, and Mike does not convert the spare in the 10th. I got 10 bucks. 10, so Michael will finish with 257. So that means Tim Lipke will need a mark with some kind of a fill on it to uh, win the match, but both of them will be back next week. Mark Belmere's done pretty well for himself, $125, even though he's not going to be coming back next week. And still some money out there. Oh, you going to bounce that one in for a spare? So if Tim spares, that will keep everybody in it. But if he strikes... <laughs> And Mark goes out with the spare nine in the 10th, a 120, and a two game total of 235. So he will finish third and make it 234. I beg your pardon. Well, he's not going to take it out right now. He can just hope he can get these four pins to have the skin and we'll go into overtime. No. So the last skin of the day, $75 goes to Mark Belmare. And he's up to $200 even for the day. He's our big winner money-wise. Tim Lipke takes an eight, a 105. He'll end up second. Mike Sargent, the overall winner. Both he and Tim Lipke will be back next week and we will be back to tell you about it in a minute. Back we are at the Londonderry Bowling Center, and once again, uh, Tim Lipke has successfully defended a spot, although this time he winds up second. Mike Sargent able to beat him out, but uh, terrific uh, matchup in and of itself, that head-to-head -head competition between Tim and Mike, two of the two of the great ones. Oh, absolutely, and drawing back and forth, it was, it was fun <laughs> to watch, and it's going to be fun to watch them come back. All right, so it'll be Tim and Mike returning next week as you look at the total scores for this matchup on Candle Pin Skins. Mike Sargent edging out Tim Lipke by just six pins. Mark Belmare and Bill Koffold will have to try again another day, but for Mark Belmare, a pretty successful day money-wise, as Mark comes up on the top of that list with $200. Tim Lipke totals $710 in prize money, actually $760 in prize money for his four-week performance here. And, of course, he'll be back for a fifth week next week at least. Mike Sargent got on the board. A tough day for Bill Koffold, but uh, obviously Bill's been with us many times before, and he'll be back. Well, we talked to him after the match, and he says, I just, just couldn't get anything going, and uh, that's the way they look at it anyways. He'll be back. All right, another big match coming up tomorrow. That'll feature another member of the Sargent family, as Chris Sargent will be going for his third straight win as he'll compete in a series championship match against Bruno DeFeo on Candlepin Stars and Strikes. That'll be from Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire tomorrow at 12 noon here on The Winds. Of course, don't forget, next Saturday at noon, we'll be back with another edition of Candlepin Skins right here at the Londonderry Bowling Center. Until tomorrow then, for Dan Murphy and the whole crew, I'm Doug Brown. Have a great weekend, everybody.